Hey, welcome to my channel. This bullet journal setup video is a little different from my usual plan with me feeds. I decided to try digital bullet journaling using Notion next year. I'll definitely still be setting up a physical journal for the new year, but most of my day-to-day -day planning and documenting will be done digitally in Notion. In this video, I wanted to share how I set up my Notion template to be as close to the analog bullet journal method as possible. Feel free to follow along and make your own template or watch till the end to download a free basic template as well as a discount code for my new Etsy shop. First off, here is my main dashboard slash index page. I wanted a theme that is timeless and soothing on the eyes since I'll be using it for the entire year, so I chose photos and graphics that are beige and brown with modern and cozy vibes. At the top of the page is the key where I define the symbols I wanted to use for tasks, events and notes. Here's a quick tip. You can actually create keyboard shortcuts to type a unique symbol in iOS. All you have to do is to go to System Preferences, Keyboard, and then Text. Tap on the plus sign to make a new shortcut. Below the key, I added a link to the current month for quick access. The next section has pages that I usually set up in my physical bullet journal. The 2022 Goals page for setting my annual goals, Future Log page for logging events and notes, Habit Tracker and Period Tracker pages which are self-explanatory, a Consumptions database to document books, movies, etc., and a 2022 Highlights page for the top 3 highlights of each month. I'll explain a little bit more about some of these pages later. For now, here is the last section on the main page which has got all the monthly pages from January to December. It has almost become a ritual to set up my Bujo monthly. In Notion, the cover photo is similar to the cover page and I made 12 simple cover art for each monthly page. Right on top is a calendar, which is a linked database of the future log. Any events that I add in there is reflected in each monthly page. The next section is for setting tasks for the month, and I included a link to the goals page to remind myself to set tasks that are relevant to my overall goals. Below that is the weekly log where I set my weekly task which can be allocated into each day of the week. Also, I added a toggle for a daily gratitude list for some end of the day reflection. I like to track my habits weekly, so I linked my habit tracker database here and used the filter function to show the relevant dates for the week. Right at the bottom is a little monthly reflection section with a few reminders, a monthly review page, as well as a link to the next month. Here's my monthly review page where I have a linked Kanban board from my 2022 highlights page. Every month, the top three highlights that are included here will be reflected there which is a nice way to look back at the best memories every quarter or at the end of the year. There are also some other prompts below and it's easy to add or remove sections depending on how I feel each month. So that's my 2022 bullet journal setup in Notion. This template is available for purchase in my new Etsy shop and for now, I have two other themes available in the shop. If you're interested in any of the templates, you can use the code NOWOPEN to get 10% off any order. I've also created a free basic template linked in the description box below if you want to customize your own Notion bullet journal. As always, 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.